But if you back up each other against him, truly Allah is his protector. And Jibreel and every righteous one among those who believe and the far and furthermore the angels. I mean, who's left? You see, if this guy is fighting with Putin, I will say this Putin, he have a nuclear weapon. He can demolish Muhammad and his God. He is fighting with two women. One of them is a teenage. All of this, all of this drama of the reason for it, the God who created the heaven and the earth, and the, do you know how massive this universe is? So this God, he sent them a letter. He said, listen to me, if you don't you know, if you don't stop going against the prophet who is very ethical, huh? what the problem? They found him having sex with the maid. So what? I mean, come on, he's a prophet of God. Actually, Aisha, she said something very interesting. She said, who of you control his testicles like the prophet and his penis? And I was saying, man, this guy, he controlled it very well. Sahih Muslim. Allah Messenger, Aisha reported, Allah pray on him, not for him, used to kiss me while observing fast. <laughs> He's fasting now. <laughs> and who among you can control, and look at the fast translation, his desire, Irabahu, is his private parts. What, what desire? I mean, if the guy, he can control his private part, can't he control himself from kissing you until the fast is broke? So now, what is this? Is a snack? Was the maid he was sleeping with? The maid who is a slave, by the way. So Muhammad is very ethical. He taught the Muslim to fast. And now during the fasting, we have, we need some snack, you know? So like, okay, let us suck some lips, eat some tongues, swallow some saliva. And all of this is not breaking the fasting. So what is fasting is about then? And all of this, by the way, his private part is asleep. <laughs> You know, they are kissing, but there's nothing happening. You know, he's controlling, he's controlling, brother. He controlled, yeah, he controlled. So the ethical prophet who taught us to beat women, who kiss his women when he is fasting, is the same one who taught us amazing ethic regarding women, That women, they are evil and they are Satan. I mean, this guy, he see, he see women are evil, but he promised the Muslims a lot of them in heaven. He is desperate to have as many as he can. Yet he claim, as he said, the prophet, he saw a woman advancing from, you know, the prophet, he said, a woman advance in the form of the devil and retires in the form of the devil. So was Muhammad kissing Aisha by kissing the devil or kissing the devil by kissing Aisha? And what is what is the reason Muhammad, he said, the ethical man? Well, he saw a woman walking down street and because he controlled his penis, you see the Aisha, she said, who like you? Who like the prophet controlled his penis? And here I'm not going to ask, you know, how in the world Aisha she knew that Muhammad is better in controlling than others if supposedly she was a virgin when he have her. You know what I mean? Like imagine you have a wife, she was a virgin when you married her, and then she said to you in the bed, man, you are the best in... <clears throat> how she know? I mean, did you try something else? In order to say such a statement, she have to be an expert. 
I mean, this is the best rice because we ate many rice. This is the best bread because we ate many bread. This is the best city because we've been in many cities. Now, this is the best of controlling his penis. Will she have to be Ben? She have to be Ben? Well, it's my English, who care? It have to be Ben, Mr. Bean, with many men. And yet, Aisha, she is telling us that the Prophet is the best to control his private part. To the point of women walking down the street, he saw her. So what he did? Read with me carefully. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, may Allah pray for him, not for to him. He saw a woman. What is the what is the problem now? Look, look at the name of the chapter. The chapter recommendation. This is ethic. Recommendation. You go in the street. You know, especially these days. I mean, go to the street. Don't go to the gym because in the gym you see nothing but naked women. So. Recommendation, brother, to the one who sees a woman and attracted to her. Yeah, recommendation. This is ethical recommendation. This is ethical recommendation. So you look at her, you keep staring, staring, staring. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. mm, what I see there. Oof, man. Okay. Uh, ethical. Very ethical. And then what he should do? He go to his wife or his slave woman and <clears throat> if them. I mean, look at the options. You have two choices, brother. You go to your wife or a slave woman. I mean, slave women is like, you know, you have like, you know, slave, she's not a human, it's like, or a slave woman. <laughs> so the ethical prophet, he was sitting in the front of his house and then he saw a woman and so he came to his wife. So I, I'm not going to describe in details what happened to Muhammad, the private part, which is usually never stand up, even if you play the anthem for it. According to the Hadith, Muhammad, he used to be the most weak person in boom, boom, between all mankind, as he claimed. And then he invoked Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. I'm not going to tell you now how in the world the Muslim, they were able to measure the power of Muhammad to be 40 men in boom in Efin. I mean, do you do you have a race? Like did you like you know, do, do we have like a stadium and there is many men are practicing particip participating in the Efin uh, uh, championship and then we find out that Muhammad he can F as 40 men. How you where did you get this from? I mean, this is an ethical prophet. Everything about him is about his penis. So now the prophet, he was sitting in the front of his house. Oh, look, somebody is walking in front of my window. Guys, I had to go. Oh boy, she is so good. Unbelievable. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I'm focusing now, I'm focusing. Oof, man, she is so good. Man, she's not like my wife. Man, she, look at this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and find a slave girl because I don't have a wife. And then the prophet, he went to his wife, actually, and she was doing leather. You know, leather is a messy job. It will be sweaty, it will be dirty, her hand will be dirty, her clothes will be dirty, and she's boiling water, she is putting the leather in the smell, is so bad. So Muhammad, he went to his wife, Zainab, and hold on, did we say Zainab? Yes. Zainab, in case you do not know, is the wife of his son, who he took her from his son. I mean, you see the ethic? So now Muhammad, he got Zainab at home. Like, is he now behaving? The ethical prophet. He took Zainab from her husband, if you remember. Uh, how, how, what happened with Zainab? Do you see why no Muslims is trying to text us or call us? They don't dare. They know that their prophet have a zero ethic. They don't. Muhammad, he went to the wife of his son, Zayn. Zayn is an uh, adopted son. But doesn't matter. I mean, that is even make it horrible. 
What if he's even just a friend? I mean, imagine you go to your friend's house and then you, what do you do? Well, you flirt with the wife. And you say to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. In the house of a married woman, when the husband is not there and the husband is his son who he announced him, he says from now on, everybody should know that Zaid is my son and I am the father of Zaid. What he do? He go to the house of his own son. He flirt with the wife. And this is according to the Muslim stories. Remember, those are people who worship this man. They will never let a story to go through unless they examine it to be true and not hurting the reputation of them. So according to their ethic, the Muslim ethic, this is fine. You see, the second you say, Muhammad, he did, it's okay, anything. Anything. If you do that, oh no, brother, you cannot do that, brother. Haram, haram, halal fun, brother. This is not halal fun. <laughs> But the Prophet, he can do that. And you know, obviously, this woman, Zainab, she is a whore. How we know? When the husband, he came, you see, a woman, she have a decency. She will be so angry, so upset. She will say to her husband, your disgusting father, he just left. He was here flirting with me. He was here what? Flirting with me. She did not say that. In fact, Zainab, she said that each time her husband, he tried to F her. Excuse my language. Allah, he made his penis swell. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, value number 14, page number 189. And we will use Google Translation. Here it says, Let us use Google Translation right away. And they say to you, those Christian, the Kuffar, brother, they say the Prophet Muhammad don't have miracle. Here we go. Muhammad, he liked this woman. She is married. Each time Zaid, it was narrated in the report that in the evening Zaid, he went to his bed. See, in the morning, Muhammad, he flirted with the women. In the evening, Zaid, he went to do boom, boom to his wife. Zainab, she said, but Zaid could not do boom boom to me. And I had not, I, had, I did not refrain from, from it, except Allah, he prevented him from me. Look at the miracle. Zaid, when I do it, he hold it. <coughs> it's not working. You know, he try. Hey, Zaid, what's, what's happening, man? I don't know. Truly, truly, I don't know, brother. I'm still young, but it's not working. Did you like, did you eat something not right? No, no. I just, uh, you know, normal stuff like, uh, you know, balut, kimchi, uh, hummus, you know. Yeah, I mean, normal stuff, brother. So uh, Zainab, she is a proud. This is a sign from God. Look, look, God is involved. The man, he want to do boom, boom. He's trying. He's so like, what the heck? What happened to it? Where it goes? He's even looking for it. He cannot find it. Like he unzips. It's, it disappear. So Zainab, she is telling you a miracle at that night after the prophet who is very ethical, 
who flirt with married women to his son in her house. Zainab, obviously, she said to herself, why I want to marry this is an idiot when I can have the father who is going to be the king. He is the king already. Hmm? Which one is better for me? So the poor guy was prevented by Allah from doing boom, boom to his wife. Let us be honest here. How many of you, Allah prevented you from doing boom, boom to your wife? Hmm? And they say to us, Allah does not exist. Brother, sisters, hey, hold on. I have a call. With the prince. First of all, this is the only proof that the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet. Is that correct? What? How do? How is that? First of all, if somebody is an atheist, he don't believe in God. You can show him this miracle. Can you explain to me or to anybody in the person? What? To anybody in the person? Oh, you mean in person? Exactly. Can you explain to me how this miracle happened? I, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to explain. Can you explain? Very simple. Prophet of Allah, of Allah, he said, I like this woman. Allah, he always rests to the desire of Prophet Muhammad. So the man, he wanted to do boom boom to his wife. What is very normal thing to do? Especially at that time, not like today. We cannot do anything these days. Okay. Zach and I, speak of yourself. Mr. Prince, first of all, so when he came to the bed to do boom boom, Allah, he prevented him. Okay, how Allah, he prevented him? Are we live on air? No, we are not live on air, so you can say whatever you want. Well, it did not stand up. Uh, what did not stand up, Zakir? It did not stand up. Okay, just say the word. What is exactly the, like Zaid did not stand up? Because what have to do with Zaid? It's in the private part. So why you don't say private part or say uh, the word P? Uh, I'm very polite and I cannot say it because then my wife, she will ask for it and I don't have it. Muslims, this is God's story. Allah, he prevented the husband from doing what that his right to do. And why? Because the prophet, he flirted with the wife in the morning in her house when the husband was not there. And then the story is not over. It says here in other report, it says that <laughs> the hadith was raised to Zainab that she said, which means coming from Zainab, the source is Zainab, that some narration that Zaid penis is swollen. I mean, not only now your wife is gone from your hand and your father, he took her. Now you have a bigger problem. Actually, it's bigger. I mean, it's a swelling way bigger. So now the poor guy, how Allah, he prevented him from doing boom, boom. His penis is swollen. Which means each time he tried to do anything, he will be badly in pain. This is the ethical prophet. And then the husband, when his wife, she told him that your father, he flirted with me today. Look how <laughs> she's proud of it. The man, he went to Muhammad. He says, you know, I want to divorce her, really. I mean, she is not good. Two hours ago, he want to F her. Two hours after, he want to divorce her. Why? Because now he noticed that his wife, obviously, is sleeping with his father. He noticed right away that the wife, even in the in the hadith, it says "fafatina Zaid." So Zaid, he got it. "Fafatina Zaid." So he went to Muhammad. He said, "I want to divorce her." She hurt me with her tongue, and she does does this and does that. I want to divorce her. Look at the fraud, Muhammad. He said to him. Why you want to divorce a man? Keep her, keep her for you. Keep her, keep her. 
And then Muhammad, he received a verse from Allah, speaking to him, Allah saying to him, why? Why, why? Why you say to the guy, keep your wife when Allah revealed to you that she will be in your bed? Have you ever heard of a, such a decent God? And the funny is, now because of Zainab, Zaid's name is mentioned in the holy book of Allah. <laughs> I mean, look at the owner. <laughs> you see, I understand the Quran speak about the Pharaoh. I mean, this is a great king. Musa's great prophet. Adam. Abraham, but Zaid, why? He's just a guy who was married to this woman. Because a brother, Allah, who is very ethical, he informed Prophet Muhammad that he is going to have her. So he said to Muhammad, stop playing games, man. Why you say to the man, keep your wife when you, I revealed to you, I told you, and I you know I told you, take her. Hmm? Behold, though did it set to the one who had received the grace of Allah. What is the grace of Allah? You want to sleep with the wife of your son. And the favor, favor after favor. Hmm. Uh, retain though in the woodlock the wife and fear Allah and like you know the, the, the translator is trying to use like a professional English translation when the Arabic is so stupid by the way I mean look look nicer in English look at this in Arabic what is <laughs> this is the this is the book of guidance for mankind. The God in Muhammad, why you told the guy, keep your wife, man? Don't you want to have her? Come on, hypocrite. In the morning you were saying to her, I want you, I want you badly, baby. The husband come to you, you claim that you heard nothing, you know nothing. And you will notice here that the son did not mention to his father. My wife, she told me that you did a flirt with her. Anyone knows why he did not say that? Why the guy did not say to his father, my wife told me you are flirting with her because he knew. He's not stupid. They are having an affair together. His wife, she told him that, so he will leave her. That's it. I mean, it's a moment to tell you about things we do for a long time. And if he complain, Muhammad will make him disappear. And he will take her anyway. So he said to himself, let me have a safe exit of such a filthy prophet who have a very high ethic and he is the best of mankind. And you know these days look like the best of mankind is the one who go to your house, flirt with your wife and he give you a hug in the morning. And this is why we have a zero Muslim trying to contact us to call us because they knew that this is not a good topic to speak of, of their highly ethical prophet. Not to forget to mention the women he kidnapped, the people he raped, the people who tortured to ask them where they hide their money, uh, you know, uh, deception and deceive and lying and st stealing. I mean, the guy is all over the place. But you always, you will hear the Muhammadan saying that Muhammad is the best of mankind in ethic. Very ethical. 
even Muhammad he made a verse in the same chapter uh, any woman she can give herself to the Prophet so he can if her what does it have to do with God you see there is a program I saw a video once in the Dean show and the Dean show they said they have an interview with the Abdul so they said how we can prove to the audience that the Prophet of Allah is a Prophet of God the Abdul he said that's very easy what Prophet Muhammad he got from all of this torture leaving his homeland he did not seek any kingdom they offer him to be a king he refused why <laughs> what king a prophet is better than a king because now he rule in the name of God he knew what he's doing what king he's a king anyway <laughs> who can disobey he made it clear that the one who disobey Muhammad he disobey God So the guy in the video, he said, big prophets, they seek things for their own human interest. Prophet Muhammad never did. Muhammad, he seek the best of the booty, the fifth of the booty. It doesn't matter if it's a human or money. Muhammad have a special rules when it's come to his private part. As an example, Muslim can have only four wives. Muhammad have unlimited. Muslim, they have to pay for dowry. Don't worry when they get married. Muhammad don't have to. Muhammad can receive gift women as gift, free women, not only slaves. Muhammad is a very, very decent man. And he was a women supporter. He support women. Let's, let's make it clear, you know. Isn't it him who promised Muslims a lot of sex toys in heaven? He made women sex toys only. I mean, at least, and not only that, he made it clear that those women, they will not even get jealous. He take, he take from them their feeling as a human. They became like a silicon now. This is how ethical, this ethical prophet. In order to make his men go and die for him, but he never go to war, he always hide behind. He promised them a lot of women. For he have a mentality of a pervert. See, when God, he created Adam, he gave him Eve. One man, one woman. Why we need, why a man he need all those women? What is the purpose? Was Adam short of his needs? Was Eve unhappy for having one Adam? Muhammad, the ethical man, he destroyed the most foundation, important foundation of family and society, which is family. There's no family in Islam. Sex is a contract called nikah. There is no marriage. There's no love.
There's no humanity. There's animal practice. I'm looking at Skype until now we have zero Muslim and I understand very well why the Muhammadan they will not dare to call they knew they knew what kind of a prophet they have we did not mention Muhammad marrying six years old girl and actually, I find it very funny. There's a Muslim, he made a comment. Speaking about ethic, and this is why I made this video about ethic. He said, you call Muslim ignorant. No, my friend, you are not ignorant. Because you are very well education, educated. You believe that there is a God. As we speak, he is softening the skin of women for a thousand years each to make them smooth. Look like your God, Allah never heard of something called Vaseline. I mean, what kind of God he need? 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a female. Why? She's an alligator? Can't he make her right away with soft skin? I mean, how in the world those people dare to make their brain bent down to believe in such a garbage. One thousand year. If I message you, will you reply? If message me in Skype, I will call you. Not only I will reply. Message me in Skype. Tell me I am etc. person. I'm a Muslim and I will call you immediately. So all this time we are saying, and the Muslim call us, you will say, if I message you, will reply. You have called me, what's your name? Yeah, there's a person, he called me. Uh, his name is Anouk. Are you Anouk? Are you Anouk, my friend? Well, I don't know. I thought this is a, not a Muslim. Let me call you then. I'm calling you. Answer. <clears throat> He's not answering. You're not, you're not answering. It says a nuke is unavailable. Text me, and I will call you immediately. All right, and be careful, only Muslims, please. We want Muslims. Is it trolling? No problem. We can troll with him. I mean, he is following a trolling prophet. So he have to troll with us. Let us troll together. Let us go back on time. And I am Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> prophet Muhammad, why are you doing no miracle? You are prophet of God. Every prophet have miracle. Listen to me, my son. I will show you a miracle which nobody ever does before. Yes, Prophet, tell us, show us what miracle you are going to do. I'm going to eat the whole goat. Give me the first arm. 
Okay, Prophet, this is the first arm. Give me the second arm. Okay, Prophet, this is the second arm. Give me the third arm. Prophet, the goat have only two arms. Two shoulders. <laughs> shoulders, actually. <laughs> you want to eat the third shoulder and the fourth shoulder. I mean, this guy is so stupid to the, to the point. He thinks the goat have four shoulders. It's a miracle. Uh, sometime he want to be a Buddhist, a Jewish. I think he is now is a Hindu. No problem. Don't remind me of what I made a mistake once. I was in, you know, doing a speech in India, even though I never been there. But I took my flying carpet and I went there without visa. So I said to the Hindus, "Do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? Man, oh man, you will not believe what happened." They were converting to Islam like crazy. I will never say that again. Hmm? Uh, Free J, he says, if God made Adam and Eve, why did he create gay love? My friend, I want you with your gay love to have a family and have kids. When you do that, let me know. Because love, you know, when you say love, you know, you made me laugh. When you have such a love, the love will bring a fruit. Okay, now you are gay and you have love. Are you going to have a baby soon because of this love? You see, the nature is proving everything to be right or wrong. Is that the nature? Can you have babies? Can you have a family? When I was doing my master's degree, you know, uh, you know, many liberals around me. So I told them if everybody became a gay, the nation will be destroyed and economy will collapse. Why? Because the one who pay for your retirement today is somebody born at least 20 years before. So if everybody have a gay love, as you call it, then the nation will die. <laughs> this is self-destruction. So you can do your love, my friend. This is your understanding of love. This is just a sexual fantasy you have in your head. But the nature is a woman and a man. Ah, I never heard of adoption. So you want me to do your job. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to go and have boom boom with the real women and then you come to me and say sir can I borrow the chadra from you I want to adopt him <laughs> anyway potato this is not our topic you know have fun with your love enjoy it all right take a hike I am the ignorant so in order to get a baby, you go to someone who is straight. I thought your love is self-sufficient. Anyway, not our topic. Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, can we get discount in the, uh, you know, the, the, the discount stories is very funny. I mean, Amazon take most of it <laughs> and give me little, and then people, they want to give me discount, give me discount. You think I'm the one who make the money. <laughs> Do you know how much they take? <laughs> how do I call you? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, my Skype, the admin is posting my Skype. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us and show us the ethic of a Prophet Muhammad. He was very ethical. Anyone? 
my friend don't ask me questions have nothing to do with our topic people asking me questions in the chat have nothing to do with the, we have a topic the ethic so we, we that's it we, we change it now don't you want to hear a Muslim answering refuting us if we are done so we can say who oh, have a question and then you guys you can give me questions have nothing to do with the topic if we are done but for now maintain your topic do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us anyone You can group, you can call any of those famous ones in YouTube, you know, ambush me. Do you know like Mimi Hijab, he ambush, ambush, apostate prophet. Why they don't ambush me? <laughs> call me, surprise me. Uh, why you don't create a platform saying your books? My friend, just please, for God's sake, ask questions about our topic. Focus with me. Forget about my books now. Do we have any Muhammad that want to show us any good ethic of a Prophet Muhammad? Anything? Anyone? After I finish and we hang up and we go and then you will see the Muslim comment coming like rain. Yeah, and he claimed, no, he did not text me. He called me and I called him back. He refused to answer. He called himself Anouk. This is the only uh, uh, call I received. I called him, as you see here. No answer. So don't tell me about him anymore. We don't have time for kids. What do you think about Muhammad being the most influential? Well, you know, uh, being influential doesn't mean you are good. As an example, Osama bin Laden in certain time, he was number one topic in the whole world. You open any TV stations, everybody's speaking about him. His influence is, we have security. Three times more before Osama bin Laden. So here we go. His influence, his guy is dead. They feed him to the fish already, to the tuna. But until now, we have a security check in the airport. We stay for two hours to get in the airplane. Our airplane ticket became three times, four times more expensive to cover those security, you know, things and the machines and the people they hire, etc. Just because of his influence. So what influence mean? Hitler have influence. Most influence or influence person is a joke. However, it's very funny that the most influenced one is Muhammad, but you ask a Muslim, what is the time now? What is the year? What the year is shown in your computer? They will say the year of after the Lord. So who is the most influenced? Even the atheists, even the Buddhists, even the Hindus, even everybody, they go by the year of Jesus. Every single salary in this earth is paid by his name. <clears throat> if there is any verse in the Quran says he's holy, no, the word holy in Quran actually mentioned only a few times. <clears throat> uh, you know, the word holy. as holy like there is a word uh, uh, in Arabic which is a clear 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 use for holiness which is Quds or Muqaddas if you ask a Muslim 
What is the name of the city of Jerusalem? They will say to you, Quds. Quds is the extreme holiness. And here we ask ourselves, why the Quds is not Mecca? Even the Quran, when he speak about the extreme holiness, we speak about the Jews. We speak specifically about Jerusalem and how Allah he ordered Moses to enter the Holy Land which Allah he assigned to them. So this is the, the, the clear Arabic word of holiness mentioned in the Quran. There's other words of holy but it's not the same as the word this is the word historian from the Christian, the word that we mentioned to you in chapter 5, verse number 21. In chapter 19, verse number 19, you will see every Muslim giving you different translation for the word Zakiyah. Here you will see the word pure. So Jesus is pure. But the pure is holiness. Even when they try to fix it, to try to make it like repair it, so they add pure. But isn't it God is the only one who is pure? All of us, we are not pure. There's nobody is pure. Jesus is pure. First of all, he is not the fruit of sexual relationship. And that make him extreme pure. Secondly, he never commits sin. Even the hadith confirmed that. And the Muslims are confused between using this word, holy, and the other word. Okay, we have this guy, Fakir, is trying to call. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay. 